Hi there, welcome to another drawing video. Today I wanted to share with you my method for warming up for figure drawing and also a drawing that I made afterwards using ink and charcoal. If you're new to this channel, my name is Siobhan. This is Art Skills Online. This is where I post videos related to figure drawing and specifically how to build up your gestural and responsive way of drawing the figure. I focus on gesture and contour in order to work in an intentionally natural and expressive way. So if that's something that interests you, then please stick around, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and don't forget to say hi in the comments. So one thing that I'm very aware of is that if you are trying to set up or maintain a daily drawing practice, you really have to be very self-directed. So in a live drawing class or a fig live figure drawing session, there's a set structure that you can just go along with and you've got your warm-ups in the beginning that are the short poses, 30 seconds or one or two minutes. But if you're working on your own in your sketchbook, it's easy to forget to warm up. So what I do is literally just, I start scribbling. I find this is a good way to just get out of my thinking process or let go of those expectations that I put on myself by simply opening the sketchbook. So if you pick up a pen or a pencil and just start making marks, uh, no matter what, just scribbling on the page, this is a really good way to get you zoned in very quickly. I'm just using a normal ballpoint pen for these drawings. I find sometimes if you grab something that you don't normally like associate with proper drawing, then it gives you a chance to be a little bit more loose and experimental. So I actually quite like drawing with a pen. It's, it's very fluid and you know, you can make fast lines and quick sketches. So it's very different to drawing with charcoal. So that's a nice tool, drawing tool to kind of loosen up and warm up with. I also didn't time myself for any of these warm ups. I simply picked a pose and sort of got the pen moving across the page with the video on pause. But you can time yourself if you want to. And if you do, then I suggest maybe more, no more than one minute per pose for the warm ups. It's also important to note that these are nowhere near finished drawings or even drawings in and of themselves. So don't put any pressure on yourself to try and make a drawing or to make something look nice or what you think looks good. What you're really trying to do is almost like drawing drills. You're just taking time to loosen up. So it's a chance to get into your drawing mode. I would even encourage you to make the small drawings with as much focus on looking at the reference as you can. Uh, try not to look at the page. What I'm doing is just really looking at the reference photo while I'm drawing. I'm not looking down at my drawing at all. And I try to just let the pen go where it needs to go depending on how my eyes are moving across the reference image. At first, your eye and your pencil or your pen are not going to be very coordinated, but after a while, you'll find that your eye can move across the reference or the subject that you're drawing, and then your pen and pencil will be making marks on the page exactly in time with your eye movement. It's also important to try and keep going with these little sketches or these warm-ups. Don't stop and evaluate anything. Just as soon as you've finished one pose, move on to another one. It is very tempting to look down at your drawing and then, you know, think to yourself, wow, that looks nothing like the model. But think instead of just filling the page or even filling a few pages.
Eventually it will start to click in and that's when you can start to sense in yourself that you're slowing down or your thinking is slowing down, your sort of evaluating and judging is slowing down and even your line work will start to slow down and it gets all gets a bit calmer and then you can feel like you're looking more than you are trying to draw. So I'd encourage you to try and do this for a few pages every day and before you settle in and you know work on one pose for an extended length of time give yourself a couple of minutes five or ten minutes just to do some scribbles or some you know very loose gesture drawings like this i've talked before about how i really think that gesture drawing is something that you can do in a really long study it's not just um, meant to be for warm-ups but obviously when you are warming up and you're making very fast sketches like this you'll want to work with a gesture line as much as possible. So after these warm-ups, I started working on another pose for a longer study. And for this one, I used a brush and ink with an ink wash and a charcoal pencil. I used ink just to really loosely sort of block in the shadow areas, although I suppose I have to say that they're not faithful at all. They're not proper rend rendered shadows um, that match the, the photo reference. In fact, it's probably more accurate to admit that this blocking in is just a kind of a gestural line in itself where I'm trying to capture the movement of the pose and it just happens to be done with a brush and ink wash. Luckily though, it turns out at the end that those these marks with the with the ink kind of match the shadows a little bit not properly or not accurately but they give the impression um, after after that i switched to a charcoal pencil and started to work with a bit more control a bit more sort of of an eye on structure so i always try and get the torso or loosely block out or sketch out where I think the torso is, especially the relationship between the rib cage and the pelvis. That will generally always give you a really good clue as to the direction and the aspect of the entire pose from top to bottom. I'm really not sure there's anything else left for me to say for this drawing anyway. The main point that I wanted to share with you in this video is that if you give yourself time to do these warm-ups or give yourself permission almost to do a bunch of really bad drawings at the beginning of your drawing session, it'll help you to settle in and to find a very natural and fluid response to your reference, to your subject matter that you're drawing. So really, Remember, there's no pressure to make a nice drawing. I mean, I guess I find on me that there probably is, I put pressure on myself because I wanna video this and I wanna film this and make a video out of it. So in some ways, you know, I can't escape thinking oh, this has to look good. But normally it's very freeing to know that spending time drawing is more important than making a perfect drawing once off you know, the minute you sit down and open your sketchbook. And if you can do that, then that will also help you to, it'll really support you to set up a daily drawing practice or to draw at least far more regular, regularly than you would normally do.
So thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end and sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it or got some useful information or at least got some inspiration to start working in your own sketchbook and to not be so hung up on making perfect finished drawings. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. Uh, please let me know. Leave a comment below if you can. And please subscribe if you haven't already or share this video with someone you know. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.